All right, I've got this video that I'm working with and I want it to go from regular speed where the milk comes in and then I want it to slow down so the milk pours super slowly and then I want it to speed back up to regular speed for the blending portion. So I'm gonna do that by adding speed ramping. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna put my playhead where I want it to start. So that's right about there, right where the milk starts to pour. Okay, let's expand it a little bit to make it easier to work with. Then hit Control R on your keyboard and notice now we've got these blue dots there coming up. That's letting us know that we're going into ramping. All right, you see where we've got this little bit here where it says 100%? This is where we're gonna start changing it. So click on the little down arrow, and you want that top first option, which is add speed points. So that's gonna add a keyframe for you where it starts. Now what I wanna do is I wanna move the playhead up a bit to where I want it to speed up to normal, probably right about there. And I'm gonna do the same thing. So now you can see we've got two speed points. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, there's a couple different ways that you can change the speed here. First one is if you go back, hit the down arrow, you've got that option there, change speed, and this is gonna give you options. So if we go in between 10 to 75%, that's gonna speed it down, and then we've got options if we want it to speed up. So let's change it to 50%. And we can see, slows down, probably not even enough. Let's change it to 25%. There we go, nice and slow. But the thing is, it's literally just going from normal speed to that 25%. So there's a couple things that we can do here. First of all, let's say I don't want it to go, zoom back out a little bit. There we go. So let's say I want, to be more fine detailed in my speed adjustments, what you do is you click on the keyframe that's off to the right and you can pull it left or right. So notice what I'm doing when I'm sliding it right, it's giving me, it's going individual percentage points. Now we're down to 21. So that's another way that you can slow it down. But again, it's still not really ramping or slowly adjusting. It's going regular speed, then suddenly 25%. What I want to do is slowly move to a 25%. In order to do that, I need to add a retime curve. So I'm gonna right click, and you wanna select this one right here called retime curve. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull up this window here to make it a little easier to adjust. Let's give ourselves some space. Okay, we need to change something in here really quick before we can adjust this and this is where it says retime frame we don't want that so you want to click on that and down here at the bottom and you want to uncheck retime frame and you want to check retime speed that's the one we want just click off of it and notice what we have here now we can actually see where those are adjusting so by default it's going to be like this just straight lines right click on where you want your speed ramp or your to adjust change this from that to that one and notice automatically it adds a nice little slow adjustment. So it's gonna, now instead of being a jarring change, it's gonna slowly move into the slow down or speed up. And you can actually click on the end of these bevels and adjust it. So maybe you want it to be a bit quicker than what it was. Just click on the end and move them in or left or right. Do the same thing to the other side. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click that little icon and I'm gonna say I want it to real kind of quickly ramp back up to the regular speed. And that's pretty much it. That's how to do a slow motion effect. Now, of course, as mentioned, you can change it and uh, go for a fast forward type thing just by clicking that middle line and pulling it up instead of down. So that's how you would adjust your ups and downs in here. A quick tip also is with, with your original video is try to use the quickest frame rate that you have available to you. This was recorded at 60 frames per second. By doing that, it's gonna give it more to work with so that as it speeds up or slows down, it won't be as choppy like you see on something that was recorded at a slower frame rate. So if you can get 120 frames per second, use that, it's gonna look a lot nicer.